Hey, what's up, guys? We just saw the Battlefield 1 reveal, and I'm here with Alex Gondel, the senior producer for Battlefield 1. That was amazing. Well, thank you. Well, I'm going to get a few little secrets out of you in a moment, but first of all, me and Ellen's first impressions, here they are. So we've just come out after seeing the Battlefield 1 trailer, and oh my gosh, it looks amazing, but we're going to break it down a little bit. First off, Benny, weapons. Guns, guns, guns. For the first time in a game in ages, we've seen old school World of War weaponry. It's got things like Lee Enfield, heavy machine guns, flamethrowers. There was this kind of long range kind of rifle looking weapon, but it didn't have a scope on it. So it's like sniper or not a sniper, but we did see a few seconds, like literally just a glimpse of a sniper rifle. Yeah, that's the thing I'm really excited about. There's a load of melee weapons in this game. Like you've got the bayonets, the the <laughs> yeah you you quite like the mace don't you uh, they just smash people's faces in what's quite cool as well is we saw that in the trailer but they even said about how each different weapon's going to kind of operate a little bit differently so it's going to suit your play style which is pretty cool and apparently the bayonet kill is epic right i'm i'm also very excited there are swords oh my god i completely forgot about flamethrower like burning like it, it sounds horrendous but there's burning stuff like just honestly just fills up the screen with fire and like, just how's that gonna work in a game? What happens if you're in like kind of forest? It's just gonna like destruct, like it works for destruction in, in Battlefield. You're gonna be able to take down kind of like trees, bushes, kind of turret hole, I don't know. Like, well, you're not gonna wanna come up against that guy in close quarter combat, let's just say that. So first of all, what we want to give you, the players, are uh, a huge variety of gameplay choices to make, like so that they actually matter when you choose the weapon. But of course, there's all kinds of weapons that we present in the game, like in old Battlefield games. Everything from pistols, rifles, shotguns, light machine guns, SMGs, sniper rifles, yeah. and all the goodness that is in between. And what I think is really cool is that within of each of these categories, there's a huge variety of different types of, for instance, light machine guns. Everything from like carryable ones to the kind of super heavy ones that you couldn't even carry yourself. Okay, so next up, vehicles. Like Battlefield is a game where you've got so many choices, but th th there's, there's so much more in this one. Yeah, Indiana Jones tank, as I like to call it. Well, because the thing is, I don't know what tank's called. Well, I know it's in Indiana Jones. <laughs> That's all I've got. And also, we saw how the kind of vehicle got damaged, which was pretty cool. Um, and aeroplanes, just aeroplanes. Yeah, I'm quite looking forward to doing like dogfights in the sky. It's like every, the explosions, it's ridiculous. You could see the air mines in the background of a lot of the shots, which mean that you're not just gonna be able to fly around like a nutcase. You're gonna be, cra if you crash into one of these balloons, you're just gonna die or just go crashing into a windmill. There's so much stuff that we've just seen in this trailer that just shows how diverse this game's gonna be. I mean, and also we've not even touched upon the sea warfare. I'm looking forward to like flying in on a battleship like trying to bomb a battleship in a plane. Like. I'll just shoot you out of the sky. I'll just be in a battleship and I'll just be like, boom, done. Bring it. Also saw like there was the huge train which like had a oh, gun yeah. on it. No, 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 the train, this is a really cool thing, right? Cause we only saw it for a couple seconds, but there were like kind of ropes onto it. So it's like, are you gonna be able to jump onto it? There's a, uh, within each vehicle class, like for instance, tank class, um, there's everything from smaller light tanks or more maneuverable, everything yeah. to like heavy tanks that are larger, you know, fits more people. And the cool thing about uh, this vehicle is that uh, each of these tanks, they have very unique gameplay because all these are very unique. In a sense. Yeah. Yeah, if, you, if you see the trailer, they look very different and they actually play very different. And this is where they call different types of gameplay that we can play around with these tanks and figure out what's the uniqueness of this tank? How does that work? We saw in the trailer the plane wing got damaged and was like had little bits missing. Is that going to happen and affect the vehicle? Yeah, sharp eyes. Uh, yes, you're correct. That um, that will have an effect on you as a player. Okay, locations. There's so many to choose from. Yeah, because like the thing is, it's a world war. So they're taking us to loads of different places. When people think of World War One, they will most likely think of the Western Front. But they've taken us to so many different, varied locations, which I think will really like change up the gameplay. Yeah. So we wanted to uh, create a game that um, that provided some really unique gameplay opportunities, and that was really important for, from the beginning. And, and when we started mapping out all the requirements for what we wanted to do, it was clear for us that uh, that this setting really uh, made sense to us when we, uh, when we looked at it. And what's cool again is that uh, we'll get to go to some really cool places. Uh, you get to go to some expected places as well. Like yes, there you will be going to the Western Front, for instance. But also there is these more unexpected places, perhaps yeah. uh, like the 
that's like heavily uh, defended mountain forts up high up in the Italian Alps or or the sand dunes of Arabia, for instance. And uh, th those are just some of the locations that you'll be exploring. I think that what you see is that um, uh, you get to go to some really, really cool places. One thing you got to touch on as well is class roles, because Battlefield, they're huge for them. And like, we, I think we noticed like, one of the guys had some crutches in his back, so like medic or something like that. Yeah, and then you had like the big tank guy yeah. and the sniper, so I'm wondering like how you know big the class system is. So we had the assault class, we had the medic class, we had the support class, and we had the recon class. However, we also have the two uh, vehicle classes that okay. we uh, added to the game. So we have a dedicated tanker class and a dedicated pilot class. So uh, as those classes, your primary weapon are the vehicles themselves, because we really want people to be able to um, uh, play the roles of those vehicles and, uh, and, and, and yeah, basically be fully absorbed into that type of experience. So that's our summary of the trailer, Benny. How are you feeling? I, it is absolutely awesome, and I'm sure we've missed something. So if we have, let us know in the comments. Get a discussion going on, because we want to find everything. Got to ask, what's your favorite moment? It's the horses. It's got to be the horses. That wasn't predictable at all. Like, not, not at all. Mine's got to be kind of windmill being taken out. It's as epic. So Battlefield 1 is going to be available worldwide on October 21st and you'll be able to play it first with EA Access a little bit earlier, which is awesome. Just like to say a big thank you to Alex for giving us a little bit more insight into Battlefield 1. I know I can't wait to get my hands on it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new. And also, if for some crazy reason you haven't seen the trailer already, go check it out on EA Vision. That'll, there'll be a link for that in the description below. And we'll see you guys next time.